mother in Somerset who died last week from bowel cancer say they'll continue to fundraise for the causes that she believed in. Lisa Wells was from Froome and this weekend people there will be turning the town centre pink in her memory. Alice Bouvery reports. The dozens of flowers which have been laid here in the marketplace in Froome is just a sign of how loved Lisa Wells is here in her hometown. A woman who in just the 18 months since she was given the devastating diagnosis of bowel cancer shortly after the birth of her second child did so much. She raised nearly £95,000. Her charity, Lisa's Army, is carrying on. Now, one of the things that she did in that short time was to write a book called Only One of Me. We're here with the co-author, Michelle Robinson. Michelle, Hello. this is such a, a, a sad time, but also an inspiring time for the legacy that she left. Absolutely, yes. Um, it's heartbreaking. I feel very sad, and I only knew Lisa a little, but to know her a little was to love her a lot. She had a huge heart and did so much good, and her book, Only One of Me, is already doing so much good in the world uh, to other families who are unlucky enough to lose a parent to, to you know, young children. So, yes. And one of the things that she really campaigned for in that time was the lowering of the age of bowel cancer screening. Will that carry on? Uh, absolutely. I think everything Lisa did will carry on. And the flowers and the, the pink town is a sign of that. What she did made such a huge impact. Um, she was just an incredible force of nature and a wonderful, wonderful person. And her family and friends are going out tonight just to, to celebrate her life by, by all wearing pink. Is that right? Absolutely. That's what I've heard. I'm hoping some pink bubbles might slap into the fountain and maybe the council will turn it on. That would be quite good fun. Um, but yes, uh, sad, but I mean, what a life to celebrate. She really lived. Um, and that's uh, an astonishing thing. She taught me a lot. Happy to have known her. Michelle, thank you very much. Now, um, Lisa's funeral is actually on Monday, the 2nd of September. That is a private affair, but anyone who was touched by her life and her story is invited to Froome Rugby Club afterwards at 1 o'clock. I'm sure many will take the opportunity to go along. Alice, thank you for that.